Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to your daily updates on the Book of Meme or BOM. Um, just wanted to give you my thoughts. I mean, in general, the, the, the analysis I did yesterday is still valid, all right? I mean, uh, nothing really happened so far. Uh, but what I said yesterday, yesterday the price was uh, was right here at uh, at like 50, at 1.5 cents, excuse me. And what I said is that, all right, BOM looks bearish now. Yesterday it already looked bearish. As you can see, this, this in general is just um, a bearish market structure. Um, as far as you can actually do technical analysis on these meme coins. I mean, it's always, it's always, I mean, technical analysis on coins like these, you should take with a grain of salt, all right? So we'll, I'll do my best in this video, but you should know that if BOM really picks up momentum at any point of time, it can rally. But we'll talk about that as well. It's definitely a possibility, so, um, so let's get right into it. But what I said yesterday, and that's still the case, um, is that I said, well, we're just going to drop down support to support, so 1.5, and then down to the next one at 1.1 and 1 cent, which you can see historically was also a strong support level, and at some point of time, we're going to get a bullish breakout, and then we can rally. So the big question is, is that if you go to the 15-minute time frame right here, you can see that we are, we, are, we are shifting a bit, right? Basically, since yesterday morning, it's been, it's been down only, and now you can see that at least on the 15 minute time frame, uh, we have we have broken above the 28 and the 50 EMA right here. But, but apart from that, we're also testing the 100 EMA and that's not providing that much resistance. Um, so I honestly, and I'm not just telling you that to, to give you hope, but I'm also not telling you that because I bought BOM, because I did not. Um, but, but honestly, it does look like it has a chance to at least get some bullish momentum up to 1.5 and potentially 1.75 cents again. And then I also wanted to talk about um, what someone said yesterday and someone in the in, in the comments, and that resonated with me, in that Bohm had such a phenomenal rise to power um, that I would be surprised if it doesn't make a comeback at some point of time. Like if it doesn't rally at some point of time, I would be very surprised. Like right now, it's at a 600 million market cap, and that's definitely not nothing. But if you compare that to other meme coins, you would say that there's potential. Um, now the market circumstances right now are obviously not great and there is some FUD around BOM. I mean, in general, I do think that there was a lot of insider trading, um, a lot of it, and a lot of people made profit off of that. So that's uh, that's not amazing and that's a, that's a bad rep for the project. But like I said, I mean, given the technicals and given the fundamentals, there is a possibility at rallying here. Now, the main question though is, is will we actually rally? And for that, I don't think we have enough confirmation. Right here, you can see the open interest. Open interest is very ambiguous, right? Because we, uh, earlier this morning, we did have some, some sort of a spike up, but you cannot really trust the open interest when it's a new coin like this. And in general, it's just moving sideways here. All right, so it's definitely possible that we gain more momentum from here and that we get a bullish breakout in light of the potential uh, bullish fundamentals. But like I said, we just have to wait for that confirmation. And if I look at the price right now, I would say the main level to break is 1.25 cents. It's a bit of a psychological level. We have some indications of resistance and, and some indications of a key level being there. So 1.25 cents, that's the main level to break. If we can get some sort of a breakout above that, then great. We can rally up to 1.5 and depending on what the open interest does, uh, up to 1.7 and 1.75. But if we don't get that bullish breakout, and if we just get a bearish continuation here, uh, so for example, if we drop down below one cent again, um, this this bearish trend, trend is just going to continue. And that is the market structure right now, all right? The market structure at this point of time is bearish. So it's most likely, and you should expect, that market structure to continue. I'm just telling you that there is a, a potential breakout and a potential rally um, that that's realistic. It, it's a realistic scenario, but when there's no breakout, there's nothing. So that's what you need to know. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments as well. But for now, thank you for watching. Uh, take care and bye.